Xunzius, old buddy, I think we need to have a talk. Xunzi, I agree. Our followers are at each other's throats, and you know I want there to be peace and not contention. Fat chance about that. And some hypocrite you are anyway. I just heard about how you have encouraged the violent overthrow of a lawful government. Oh, come on. I have only shown my agreement with our ancestral teacher Confucius. He reminds us how in ancient times the mandate of heaven passed from one ruler to another because the first had oppressed the people. I have only added that someone who does this with high taxes to support wars of aggression ought to be seen as a bandit and not a ruler, and what we do with bandits is kill them. Confucius lived 200 years ago, and obviously we are in an era of warring states in which the level of conflict is far more intense than even in his time. I too respect our old master, but he was far too naive about human nature. He thought that culture and learning alone would solve our problems. And I still agree with him. A human being is born good but, like a bald mountain that has suffered the loss of soil through erosion, that innate goodness can be lost unless through learning we work to retain it. That should be the primary goal of the state. Fool. Is it not obvious that human beings are born with evil inclinations and only fear of being caught and punished keeps them from a complete disregard of others? It is not education that we should call for but strict laws and effective punishment. No, I cannot agree. That is not how a good father raises his children. The ruler who himself is an example of virtue will have loyal citizens, and such a ruler will then be seen as someone to whom heaven will grant authority to rule all of China. Nonsense. We need loyal citizens who will fight to secure complete power for their ruler. As the Book of Tao suggests, it is better that he be invisible but as ruthless as a force of nature until he accomplishes his goals. History will prove me right. Just wait and see. Shun Zi, even if you write in the short term I am certain that in the long run it will not be harsh laws and brutal punishments but a culture that respects learning that will make China a unified and great nation.